The history of this island begins before the Ceramic Neolithic. The first evidence of human life is found 12,000 years ago. And these people are believed to have lived together with dwarf animals, such as the dwarf elephant, and also the dwarf hippopotamus, which could not boast of its size. Today it is said that there are more cats than people on this island, and it is even sometimes called Cat Island. Welcome to the interesting documentary YouTube channel, where today I will tell you about the history of Cyprus. If you want more similar videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The traces of the first people's life on this island are about 12,000 years old. It is believed that these people, having covered a distance of 400 kilometers in such papyrus boats, they probably arrived from the Levant, which was in the territory of present-day Lebanon, Syria, and Israel. The archaeological monuments of Cyprus of that period are very similar to the monuments of Palestine of that time. The first people were farmers, but they did not make clay pots. These people raised wild wheat, goats, pigs, dogs, sheep. They brought foxes, Persian deer to Cyprus. The oldest settlement found is Quiricoidia. It is about 9,000 years old. It is not only the oldest settlement in Cyprus, but also one of the oldest settlements in the whole world. These people built round houses with floors made of burnt lime. Between three and six hundreds people lived in Quiricoidia. The inhabitants were of small stature. Men's height is one six meter. Women's height is one meter fifty centimeters on average. They lived up to thirty-five years of age. The dead were buried under the threshold of the house. Sometimes in graves they put food or household items. The village of Quiricoidia was suddenly abandoned for unknown reasons around eight thousand years ago. And it seems that anything could have happened to the entire island, as it remained almost entirely uninhabited for 1,500 years, until a group of Sotaira people settled there. In 2004, archaeologists working in Cyprus discovered human burials that are about 9,500 years old. And best of all, they discovered the remains of a cat buried on the side. Decorative artifacts were found too. The investigation concluded that a small pit or grave was deliberately dug into which the cat's body was placed and then buried. This is the oldest example yet found of how cats were closely related to early humans. This cat skeleton is believed to be older than the first depictions of Egyptian cats. But the cats of today's Cyprus are more associated with this monastery named St. Nicholas Cat Monastery. According to Byzantine legend, St. Helen of Constantinople brought hundreds of cats from Egypt or Palestine to Cyprus around 1,770 years ago to control the population of poisonous snakes, which after 37 years of drought were abundantly spread around the monastery. There were two bells in the monastery, one called the cats to eat, and the other sent them to the fields to hunt snakes. As the settlement of the island of Cyprus developed from the Stone Age to the Bronze Age, many Neolithic villages were abandoned and people settled in the plains and foothills. Also during this transitional period, Cypriot pottery was distinctive in form and design, with the first appearance of small figurines of fertility goddesses. During the same period, Cypriots were greatly influenced by traders from the great Minoan civilization that developed in Crete. However, although trade was fairly extensive, only few settlers came to Cyprus. Minoan merchants established the foundations of Cypriot trade. Cultural progress, a prosperous economy and a relatively large lack of defense attracted the attention of more powerful neighbors. And about 3,500 years ago, the forces of the Egyptian pharaoh Thutmose III invaded the island. Mycenaean and Mycenaean traders from the northeastern Peloponnese began regular commercial visits to the island. At the end of the Trojan War 3,200 years ago, many settlers arrived. The newcomers spread the use of their spoken language and introduced writing, which greatly facilitated trade. 
The island of Cyprus was strategically located along the trade routes of the eastern Mediterranean, and was ruled by various imperial powers during the first millennium BC among them were the Assyrians, Egyptians, Persians, Macedonians, and finally the Romans. Around 40 BC, the Roman general Mark Antony gave the island of Cyprus to Egypt queen Cleopatra. When Cleopatra first met Antony, she dressed as Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, to seduce the Roman general. Cleopatra was carried in a chariot, and her servants burned incense to make her chariot smell alluring. The couple met with the intention of strengthening political ties, but fell madly in love with each other. Cyprus was gifted to Cleopatra twice. The first time it was done by Julius Caesar and the second time by Mark Antony, until the fall of the Egyptian Empire, when Cyprus again belonged to Rome. In the year 1571, the Ottomans began to attack the island of Cyprus and occupied it. They settled there for a little more than 300 years. In 1821, the Greek Cypriots revolted, but were suppressed by the Turks. On July 9, 1821, 486 Greeks were slaughtered, among them were four bishops and many important citizens. It happened in the center of Nicosia, where Archbishop Cyprian was also hanged. In 1830, Greek Cypriots tried to make Cyprus a part of independent Greece, but they failed. The island continued to be ruled by the Turks. After 1877, after the Russo-Turkish War, Cyprus went to Great Britain. Although the Ottoman Empire still nominally ruled Cyprus until 1914, when Great Britain declared war on the Turks during the First World War. After the breakup of the Ottoman Empire, Cyprus became a colony of the British Crown. Under British rule, there was freedom of speech in Cyprus, which allowed for the development of the idea of union with Greece. In 1955-59, UK was founded headed by George Grivis. The organization sought the union of Cyprus and Greece. However, Cyprus became independent in 1960. In that year, 18% of the population in Cyprus were Turkish, but they were given a disproportionate amount of power in the new state. The vice president was Turkish. 30% of the parliament was Turkish. An article of the constitution guaranteed that Turks and Greeks would have separate municipalities in the cities. The violence between the two nations forced the United Nations to introduce peacekeepers in 1964, who remain there to this day. In 1974, Greek Cypriots carried out a military coup supported by Greece itself. However, Turkey used this as a pretext to invade northern Cyprus and stay there. Thousands of Greeks left Cyprus due to the Turkish invasion and violence. In 1975, the Turkish Federal State of Northern Cyprus was established, which is recognized only by Turkey and Russia. Thousands of Turks settled in Northern Cyprus. The international community believes that Northern Cyprus is illegally occupied by Turkey. This is such a really interesting history of Cyprus that you probably didn't know about. If you want more similar videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you in the next interesting documentary video.